Peace, love, and rape. <laughs> Excuse me. Peace, love, and reparations. Welcome to Black Star TV 2.0. It's your boy, Black Star. I just started this over, so I ain't starting that shit over again. But welcome, man, family. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're going to talk about Jim Clyburn today, and somebody asked him about reparations, and man, I tell you, that nigga is crazy. And we're going to um, we're gonna get right to it right after this little um, intro. How could you possibly love white people so much? It's easy. Have you ever looked at them? White man just a joy to be around. They smell like lemon juice and pledge furniture cleaner. And look at them. They gave us discipline, jobs, put structure in our lives, took us out the jungle. What's going on here? What's going on over there? Oh, just two niggas killing each other. Proceed. Ah. Don't trust them new niggas over there. Leaving they nigga essence in the air. Them happy, nappy head niggas with the fingers on the trigger. Don't trust them new niggas over there. Now save me. What's nothing wrong with slavery? At least we got good food back there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. White man show could be your... Hear ye, hear ye. White God is a good God. Even darkest can rejoice. For even one's case with the skin of coal can enter the gates of paradise if he hates his own blackness. And white Jesus' in name, amen. Yet another reminder that no matter how much money you got, you still just a nigga. All right, family, so here we go. Before we start this, we're going to start off. Shout out to Jason Black, but we're going to start off with him. You got to watch out for these old niggas. Well, let's start it. <laughs> you want to know if you support reparations? I'm sorry? You want to know if you support reparations? I'm sorry. You want to know if you support reparations? I'm sorry. You want to know if you support reparations? I'm sorry. You want to know if you support reparations? I'm sorry. You want to know if you support reparations? I'm sorry. You want to know if you support reparations? I'm sorry. You want to know if you support reparations? I'm sorry. You want to know if you support reparations? Nigga said, hell no. He said it mean repair, but when we said cash, he said, hell no. You got to watch out for these old niggas. Will you listen? Will you listen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. If you are mulatto and you are allowed to get an education, and this person is not and not allowed to get an education, how will you measure which which one to do what? This nigga just talked about education while we talking about reparations, family. You got to watch out for these old niggas. You can't measure education. That's why it's not part of reparations, nigga. <laughs> And if you hear what old boy just said, he said, um, I got an education, but that don't uh, uh that's still not stopping me from being disenfranchised. I'll play it back so you can hear. It's about the law. It's about my wife, whose grandfather okay. but I'm still he said, but I'm still disenfranchised. It's about the law. It's about my wife, whose great grandfather was white. And that's that's for her mother. We not measuring that shit, nigga. We not measuring it. Not saying that education shouldn't something be done with education, but we not gonna get. If you doing anything for education for us, you gonna be building us our own schools that separate from these public schools. What do you mean? But you're going to give us the resources for that after you give out the cash payments, fam. Like, they trying to throw this education thing in there because they know that it's a finesse. They know that your grandparents or your parents done got their education already. And that's not going to benefit them or anybody else. Somebody somebody who in your family who might went to school to be a doctor. You think they're going to want an education again? They're going to want to go to school again? That doesn't benefit them. Because this is supposed to benefit all of us. 
You have homeless people. That shit don't benefit our homeless people. What are you talking about? This nigga said you got more sense than I thought. Yo. You got to watch out for these old niggas. But watch this. He's saying that with us, right? He's saying that with us when a person asking for reparations, when a person asking for cash payments. But fam, in 2021, you said, I'm pleased that my bill, you wrote this bill up. The Kawataba Indian Nation Lands Act was included in the NDAA President Biden signed into law today. The first step towards rectifying the wrongs perpetrated against the Kawataba Kawataba Indian Nation and addressing the historical inequities they faced. That's a reparation, bro. That's a that's reform, ain't he? That's what he said, right? But it's funny how when it comes to him, when it comes to them, it's always they always signing stuff. And again, family, we already know that I'm with this whole, you know, the whole tribal thing with the tribal government and all of that. Like, again, I, it don't have to be called tribal government, but we need a government that's separate from this government. Right. So watch this. If y'all want to know what the Kawata tribe, Kawata, Kwaba, I'm probably saying it wrong, but Indian Nation Lands Act. So, boom. Congressman James Clyburn praised the, enact, uh, the enactment of the Kwaba Indian uh, Nation Lands Act, which includes the National Defense Authorization Act signed by signed into law by Joe Biden today. Now watch this, family, because y'all got to remember what I was talking about. So watch. Hold on. Let me get to that right part. Boom. It says, this new law clarifies the tribe's 1993 lands claims settlement and reaffirms recent action taken by the Department of Interior to take land into trust for the tribe. Yo, the Department of Interior is somebody we have to get at, right? In order to make some of this stuff happen. Because other than that, and again, we have to get some of our people inside the Department of Interior so they can pass some of this legislation so that we can get some of this stuff done. That's why I rocks with Mar uh, Marcel. And make sure y'all donate to Marcel too, as a matter of fact. But uh, that's why I rock with Marcel because Mar Marcel stepped up to take this dude's spot. So he could be the one signing, you know, um, bills and stuff or writing up bills for them to sign. You get what I'm saying? This is what we need. This is what we need, family. But again, man, you already know, family, we got to. You got to watch out. For these old niggas. You feel me? So listen, family, we gonna, I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to wind up getting up out of here right now. But listen, we have to. This is why y'all have to, have to support Marcel. You have to support Marcel, fam. Because other than that, we're going to be stuck with this. South Carolina, y'all got to get this dude up out of there. Y'all got to get this dude up out of there. We can't allow black people to sit here and help other groups while talking to us like that. He don't talk to them, them Indians and all them people when they asking them for stuff. He don't talk to them like that. He don't talk to them like that. He a gatekeeper and you can see it. You can see it. It seeps right out of you that you're a gatekeeper. But family, I'm up out of here, man. Peace, love, and reparations, man. I hope y'all have a blessed weekend. It's Friday. Man, I'm probably going to do one more video because I want to I want to talk about this Trump situation. And we're going to get on some of these Biden supporters, too. Because, family, we got to get these people out the paint. And it's over for the Democrats. The Democrats is done. The Democrats is done. And, th and that's the main reason right there. That's the main reason that the Democrats is done right there. James Clyburn. 
Family, we up out of here. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, that like button, that share button, so you can get this out. We out of here, man.